good morning everybody mid-january don't remember exactly what the day is today but i'll put it down right here um super cold this morning i think we got a 27 degrees this morning it's gonna it's 30 something now and it drops and then it rises back up later today it, it drops after sunrise so i don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing we're gonna find out i have an idea it's not really the right wind to go into the spot but they're running right now so i have an idea and hopefully we get lucky i'm gonna go into where i shot that six point a couple years ago i had I had seen 12 bucks that morning, so I'm hoping it's on again. Our stinky dough comes through there this morning, and we get on one. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something this morning, and where I'm going is a long way from home, like a two-hour drive just to get there, and then two-hour drive back home, and then I get up again and do it again all weekend. But uh, but it's worth it. Because the deer are bigger, um, you'll find way more mature bugs, I believe, up here. And but they ain't mature right now; they're kind of dumb because they're rutting. So hopefully we get a, a giant to go by. If not, I got a little trigger. I'm not trigger shy, so I'll uh, I'll shoot one that's legal and take the meat until it's uh. I had some bad news the other day in my garage freezer. I guess it tripped a breaker and we didn't know it for a few days. And uh, defrosted all the deer meat and other meat we had there, chicken and stuff. So, gotta fill that freezer back up. So hopefully uh, I can get one down. It is early, it's like 2 a.m. I'm driving. And uh, being Danny's truck, I usually drive halfway meet Danny <coughs> and then he drives the rest of the way and we ride in together but it's rifle up here so I'm going to take the rifle in I want to take the bow but right now I'm meat hunting so I'm going to take the rifle in and then we should be back with the bow next weekend I believe um, and we'll see what happens wish me luck guys and we'll see you in the stands 6.45, that is a, a sunrise. It's super windy. <clears throat> Got a couple of squirrels around me. I've done a couple of grunt calls. And can calls, but nothing yet.
so the spot we're at, I got private land. I'm talking about 40 yards right here to my left. And then Dan, we got a creek, I don't know, about 200 yards. Danny's down on that creek bottom. And the road in between us. But no one drives down this road. So there's a log blocking it. And they seem to be coming out this morning. 60 yards in front of me. And going around this little, it's like a little oak island in between all these pines. And they go around and go into private. But I have plenty of time to get a shot with this rifle. I could have shot, shot both deer this morning with a bow. But hopefully, uh, everything works out. And we get a nice one coming by this evening. Or Danny can get one down. That'd be awesome. Yesterday, Danny seen, uh, a nice stout four point actually would have been legal because it's long enough it be three on one side here or a 10 inch main beam and it was well past a 10 inch main beam and then he's seen the same spike I think I seen today but shoot you never know what'll come by so hopefully we can get one on the ground hey, we're up for round two today I've had a small doe come through. She was through pretty quick. I didn't get to film her. Had a spike come through. I filmed him. And that's about all I've seen so far this morning. We are up at like 11 o'clock, about 12 o'clock. And uh, see if we can get some movement. Sun's gone. It's cloudy now. And uh, it's a little warmed up. So that's hopefully we can, fingers crossed, we get a big buck coming through. Day two, January 15th. Um, didn't see much action yesterday, but today's Danny's birthday. So uh, happy birthday, Danny. And hopefully we can get one down. Hopefully Danny gets a giant. So let's see what happens. I'll see you in the stand. So not much this morning. Danny shot and missed at a buck. I got down a, a little early to scout a little bit in that area. Couldn't find much sign. So we backed out and we went to one of these other spots. Some hunters left from here. So I'm hoping they didn't book her it up at all. But I'm probably farther than they ever went. I'm way down into this swamp. And I'm in a tree. There's plenty of cover, but it's so well and tight that I can't get my uh, camera arm in here. So I'm gonna just freehand it by hand and film. But I have a little creek that kind of snakes through right here at Ben's. And there's a main crossing right here. So I'm hoping that something comes by the night and it's legal to take. But we'll see.
what's up? So I moved places because I went to move just a little bit this morning and realized I'm right on top of Danny. So I moved out and uh, I've lost hope. Hopefully Danny kills one. I'm in this weird pine stuff and I'm pretty much silhouette and I got a little bit of stuff to break up my silhouette but not much. So I can't move much at all. But I'm right at the head of this little spot that Danny's way down there on. Um, and hopefully they're just moving through. I'm right on the edge of this head. I can see see it perfect. Wind's blowing perfect. But um, it's just one of those spots where you're just like, eh. So we'll see what happens. We got about a half hour till nightfall. It doesn't look like it's going to happen, but you never know. I exit this video now. I have seen some deer like every day. It's been a good weekend and uh, learned a lot about this uh, piece of WMA. And uh, maybe next time we'll get get under them. They're not quite rutting. It seems like they're rutting some other parts of this WMA, but not over here. We just ain't seen the sign. Like we see scrapes that haven't been freshened up or anything. It's like the, the bucks have pretty much vanished out of the spot, which could be an indication of rut. They could have just traveled somewhere else. But to everyone that we've seen, the little bucks, it seems like they're just traveling through, looking. So hopefully, I can get one here after. Nightfall before shooting light. And, uh, call her a day. But if not, I'll see you guys in the next video. And, uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.